I, I grew up the biggest wrestling nerd on the planet. I discovered American professional wrestling when I was about nine years old, and that was the rise of Hulk Hogan and the Ultimate Warrior and Bret the Hitman Hart and all these guys, which I fell in love with it immediately. And there was something in my brain as a kid that I didn't actually associate those figures that I was seeing on my TV as real people. Um, and then when I got a little bit older, like I said, I was the biggest nerd. I'd watch everything and I'd see their characters and we didn't really have social media like we have now. So you never got to see the real life person. You just saw what It that... was so much easier to get caught up in it back Sure, then. sure, I absolutely. Was a as a kid and, too. and to me, they were just comic book characters. They were exactly. almost like watching cartoons. And yeah. then um, around about... 18 or 19 years old, when I was in university, I read a book by a guy called Mick Foley, who wrestled as Mankind. Big, huge star, and uh, yeah, yeah, exactly, that yeah, was the book, so. Book. And that was the yeah. first book I read that actually humanized a genuine star in the world of professional wrestling. He talked about his upbringing, how he was in college, and yep. how he didn't know what to do with his life, and he had this epiphany where he was gonna become a pro wrestler and, and do crazy stuff in the ring, and, and I was like, wow, that's kind of exactly where I'm at in life right now. I'm studying for this degree, and uh, I'm not sure I wanna continue after I get my degree in that yeah. world, and I feel like that I'm athletic, I'm big, I love professional wrestling, why don't I give it a go? And um, immediately the next day, finished the book and went down the gym, started pumping iron, and uh, started on this course of trying to find out how I become a professional wrestler, which was so where it all began for me.